And so what I want is I want to teach all of us, I want to learn and teach people this is how you think, this is how you approach life. Mm -hmm. Because if I can if I can help somebody to think from divine perspective, yeah. then they will automatically stumble on some of the things that I would have taught them. So one of the ways we have this value for teaching people um, how to think, not just what to think, and yeah. those aren't either or. I think when we say it's either or, we're, I, there's a ton of biblical content I demand my yeah. students to embrace, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. not just know, I want you to live it. So, yeah. Yeah. so it's, again, we're doing both. Like You need to believe this stuff and know this stuff, at least to be an empowered in the body of Christ, you need to. Yeah. Um, but also, we, we're not just indoctrinating you, that you you need to be a thinker. Uh, about yeah. this ongoing relationship with the Lord. How did, where did that come from in your the love of thinking, you know, the love of stretching the mind? <clears throat> For me, the it, it comes out of two things. Number one, it comes out of, of the renewed mind. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of the renewed mind is if, if, uh, if the mind wasn't valuable, he wouldn't want to renew it. If it didn't have a place of high value, yeah. high priority, he would spend no time rebuilding it. And so part of our responsibility then is to yield to his way of seeing. He just sees different mm -hmm. and he thinks different. And we're not even close. <laughs> and, and so repentance yeah, yeah. introduces me to the mind of Christ in a very practical way. He thinks giving is the way you receive. He thinks going low is how you're exalted. He thinks dying is how you live. And everything is so reversed that we can turn that knob on for an action, but to do it as a lifestyle is a challenge. And so what I want is I want to teach all of us, I want to learn and teach people this is how you think, this is how you approach life. Mm -hmm. Because if I, can, if I can help somebody to think from divine perspective, yeah. then they will automatically stumble on some of the things that I would have taught them. Mm -hmm. Which which I want to do, but yeah. but the point is right. is when you teach, it's they'll teach, own them through self discovery. Like I found this treasure rather than us handing exactly. them something. It's, yeah. it's it's the old it's the old proverb of giving somebody a fish yeah, or yeah. teaching them how to fish. Yeah. That, that's really what's at stake. And so if we can teach people what kingdom perspective is like, which is expanding for us mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. kingdom perspective is like, then uh, we have set them up to be a learner on their own as well. And mm. for me, that's that's just huge. That's beautiful. And I, part of what you said, I think the journey for me was not just thinking the right thoughts or smart thoughts, or mm -hmm. but it was actually perceiving. Like, yes. uh, so when I'm taking in data, actually perceiving them uh, with kind of the, the wisdom of the Lord yeah. has been a journey. And being a disciple is not just like, I can kind of parrot what Jesus said, but I actually see the woman caught in adultery at my feet. I'm like, ah, I get this situation. I can make, yep. I can perceive it like he perceived it, like, I know our Bible says we can stone her. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. But we're going to do something else. I think you said there's two <coughs> two things that you, uh, oh, reasons that you went into. The, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the other is to love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Yeah. And uh, and so my, my intelligence, my intellect has to be harnessed and used to express the love of God, to express love for him. If it's not, then I'm I'm not using some of the faculties that he has given me mm. to actually love him, to actually draw near to him. It's my mind should be a gift that God gave me to draw me near to him, to celebrate his wonders and yeah. his uh, his in incredible uh, goodness and, and joy and delight in me that he has. And all this stuff has to be explored mentally. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's mm -hmm. not just we feel our way through. I believe in emotion a lot, yeah. but we just don't feel our way through this thing. Mm -hmm. It's our mind is supposed to be supposed to be harnessed, maybe as a legal term, harnessed or or guided into uh, into yeah. discovery how to love God more. Yeah, and uh, that's that's what our privilege. Somebody's put it this way: we need to like I think think passionately and feel thoughtfully at some level. Oh, that's to good. Not, yeah, yeah. To not have yeah. them so separated, but to have them be kind of united. And then the language yeah. of our culture, it's EQ and IQ, right? Like having both of those sorts of things going on. Exactly. I, one of the things that fascinates me, though, is that is how our will is so important. Because I, if we, mm -hmm. if our will isn't surrendered to Christ, we will use reason to make get our own way. Exactly. Like <laughs> that. That's kind of like the, I call it yeah. the dirty little secret of thinking. Yeah. You know, it's like if you're not, <laughs> you know, we've all had it with our kids. Like you, you, you know, your kid doesn't do homework, and yet. 
they give you like 50 great reasons like why they should have curfew two hours later. Like, where's this thinking when, you know, I'm asking you to think through history or some implication or that term paper you're having me write for you. That's not happening. But, you know, that whole deal. Like, so we will marshal when we want something. Yeah. We'll true. marshal our reason to kind of get it. Yeah. And, and that's, I, I think, for me, that's so important to realize that how we— I don't know if we, huge. how do we say it? If we will to say, I actually have the most, the best, clearest expression of the gospel above everybody else, then I will marshal all my reason to express why yours is inadequate and mine is perfect. That's, I mean, that's exactly right. So, uh, Paul addressed this. He says, the mindset on the flesh is hostile towards God. It's yeah. not neutral. Yeah. It's actually at war with God. And so what we learn is to submit our heart, our mind to the scriptures to what God says, to the Holy Spirit who gives us insight. And then he trains us on reasoning. Yeah. And, uh, and that really is the renewed mind. The mind of Christ is, is the renewed mind. And, uh, and that's the invitation he's been given us. And so uh, we can think of, even James calls uh, jealousy wisdom. Hmm. But he says this wisdom is not from above. It's from below. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he calls it wisdom, which means jealousy has an appeal to reason. Yeah but yeah. it's unsanctified reason. Wow. So that's, uh, that's the huge warning. Yeah, heavy revy drop right there. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Bill. Okay.